now there was a request on one of the subscribers that they would like to see how to do multi-line now just before i start doing that let me show you something i will add the text and i will add one okay so if you look at the property of this text on its own it says text right so this is the element property but look what if i add a second line so i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna enter and write two uh two and then look at the properties here so that now change to text node okay so what do i mean for you to do a multi-line you have to use a text node command so with that done so i'll show you first how to do a single text before doing multi so let me just keep this drawing straight i think it's, it is upside down for some reason well okay so this is my excel and here so what i'm gonna do that name and that and that using this as coordinates so imagine if you're doing cells across the drawing and you want to kind of show the property so in this case we have bohole and the type of topsoil and how deep that material is so i'm gonna do a code that uh gonna create um that as a first line second line and third line so i will do a simple one first so to just give you an idea of how to do multi-line you will again bring your visual basics editor and so the first thing you need to do is to define your variables okay so this should be enough to get you started okay so so i'm going to do active setting then now i'm going to define my origin point and yep you guessed it that's correct your z that's the one good so now we have that and now so we're going to do set i'll put my first line here dot add line text line and we'll define what you want adding in this case I'll just keep it simple one then i'm gonna do the same thing and so every time you want a new line you're just gonna add something like this and type it in there what you really want to add on that one so once you do that now to make it happen you need to do one last thing like that okay so now let's try and see if this is working so i'm gonna run it so if you come back to macro station here zoom extent there's nothing in there so let's go back to the code in excel and run it okay there seems to be something wrong here okay mm, let's see what it is ah <laughs> i didn't say what is the coordinate so yeah it's zero and again i did same thing for the y and z so i'll copy this i'll add one here and one there that should fix it okay try again yeah that worked good so now let's find it there it is so we have one and two well maybe the spacing is a bit too much so i will um adjust that so maybe um now it all depends on how big your text is so this is 0 0.25 so maybe one is a bit too much so maybe i'll put um I'll try maybe 0 0.25 uh, i think that should be okay so i will delete this one and i'm going to adjust there um it's good that you can adjust size of that so it means you can actually get the look and feel that you need uh obviously there's multiple style you can you can do um so that's that seems okay good so now we see how to do one and now let's try to do multiple and in this case it will be um going through excel line by line and put that on a first line and that a second 
and that is third and then using this as coordinate to place them on the drawing okay so this is going to be a little bit involved so I'll, i'm going to expand from what we have there so let's go back uh, to our code so oh i will keep this one maybe i will create a new one here so let me just add a new one um module and i'll copy whatever i have here so you, at least we have a few done so yeah put, put them in there so now for the second one let me see so we are going to add a few more now with this one um because we want um the code to run and find the last um the last line and also you want it to kind of run from one line to the next and the next and the next so you have to add counters so we'll have a few of them so just bear with me and just try to follow along and we'll get there at the end so we have done the first bit which is defining uh but now we need to add a few uh, so I'm gonna add a um, few more. So dim x as integer. So you also need um, add a few more, and um, so I'll need an i. I also need to count my last row. Good. So this should be fine, and also. All right, that seems to be okay. Um, yeah, so also now I'll like to I like to add the connector here as well. So I'm gonna do uh, Now, um, I wanted to use this one as because you could have multiple sheets. So I'm going to use whatever it is there, whatever is current as your active sheet. And to do that, you're going to set, um, you have to set your active sheet. So I'll do set. Okay, that worked. But just to cover ourselves, I'm going to define it as well. So I'm going to define. Okay worksheet so that it knows what we mean okay all right so good so far so we have that we have that and that um now now we need to kind of set up our now for text formatting let me just add here so i'll add more formattings you know more than just uh spacing so i'll say um Okay, row plus one. That should okay. That should do it. And now, um, also you need this to 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 go like to count. So the idea is to uh, to jump from one to the next and next and next. So to do that, you're gonna add another one. Um, because obviously I don't want to start from here. I want to start from there, so I'm going to remove one. Okay, so I say last row. So this is x1, that is x2, that is x3. So I wanted to do it from here. So you have to define which one is your first row. Um, now for that one, I will do it this way. So I just keep it here because according to this, it's gonna go, it's gonna use that as your last row. So obviously there's nothing here and this will create an error so i want it to come up to here then go back to one before so that's why the minus minus one is four i want to use x and y okay i'll keep z as a zero but i want x and y to come from these ones here so to do that um i'm gonna change rather than giving it a hard number i want it to look from excel so i'm gonna say it's go to my sheet dot range so i think it is column b so b will be fixed so b won't change what is going to change though is the row number so the column will be b but the number will be 
x so x would be counting x1 2 and 3 and so forth so we're going to do that and i want to take the value of so going to put value that one okay so this should give you an x now for the y when i do same thing but let me copy it first so you get the idea i'll put it in there then you want a column c okay so i'll do it that way so i will say um c and c and then x x mean it is counting uh, from x which is the second row up to the last one and i'll keep z is zero so this should be fine copy this add one more there now it be the same thing so i will change here to something like that so no i don't want that so i'll copy this one here my sheet range up to there okay and so i'm going to replace that with that one so now i want to take a d and e and type those information in the drawing okay so i'm going to do i'm going to do i want a that's fine this code is very easy to be honest um is it is it's done already so ends the next one you wanted i said is d and also i want to add e as well e so let's see so that so what i need to do is to add a few lines and um do next x so what it means now for the next one okay so for example if this x value was two now you want the next one x to be three okay so if we're doing that you're gonna say the value of i this is the counter now it will be equal to i um plus one okay uh now this is so we have okay now we have used this x here um there okay and then we have used the lr for finding the last row okay that's that and also we have we need to use that one there for for the counter so i think hopefully that should be good ah uh, that is working so that is good news and yeah you have everything here so you can see um you have multiple um you know what's happening here obviously in this case maybe i have two of them into same same place so i might need to space them out then it does work so i'll try again so you see how it's working okay i'm just curious try one thing for us just to be sure i'm curious whether if we need if we need um the connector so i'm gonna disable them maybe you don't need those two lines there just to see yeah that seems fine so maybe you don't need them yeah so maybe i'll add i'll put 0 0.5 maybe and try again okay let's go back and check yeah that, that seems fine that seems fair see there's no overlap and that is perfect so this is how you do multi-line text and yeah thank you very much